good morning vlog um this is a little awkward because it is friday morning and i have not even started powwow yet which is supposed to be my game for the week also <laughs> i have vlogged bits and pieces across the week but to be honest i'm not happy with them so i'm going to start the vlog here on friday and I'm going to try and start Power tonight and just include some of my immediate thoughts on that. I think I kind of set myself up for failure a little bit this week because I kind of said at the end of last week's vlog that I was going to have a bit of a cheat week. I was going to play Power World but not commit to finish it and you know it didn't really matter how much I played as long as I kind of had a go with it and I think in my head that just sort of set myself up for not not playing it. Also I've had a really busy week at work which has kind of taken out a lot of my sort of mental capacity I suppose for doing other things and um, my motivation for vlogging this week has been absolutely zero. So I have done a few things, I have done check-ins for the vlog but I am just not happy with any of them. I don't think they are particularly coherent and because I didn't play any of the game, it doesn't really flow properly as a gaming vlog. So I'm gonna include some of the stuff that I've done here. I did um, go obviously to work on Monday and then I, on Tuesday, I got up really early, went for a run, which I really enjoyed. And that just made me so tired for the rest of the day. I didn't really do anything else. And then Wednesday, I was at work all day and then I went to my Nana's in the evening and we just did what we always do, had some lunch and then watched some TV. Yesterday, honestly, I spent most of the day reading. Um, another thing that I think has sort of set me up for failure this week is that I am behind on my reading goal for the year. So consistently, every year since 2006, I have read over 100 books every year and I do not want to lose that streak. So I uh, have just been reading, catching up on that. I was three books behind and I'm now back on schedule. So I did do quite a bit of reading this week, but obviously that's not really what this vlog is supposed to be about. Oh, and I also went for a walk uh, yesterday, which was really lovely. I really enjoyed that walk. Nice to get out of the house and get some fresh air, especially after having the run on Tuesday. I feel like I've had quite an active week physically as well as mentally, but... I haven't started the game and I really, really wanted to have a go at Power World. Another thing is I watched a little bit of gameplay and I honestly don't think it's my kind of thing at all. I really don't think I'm going to enjoy it, so we will see. But as I've said at the start, I'm hoping to play a little bit of it tonight and hopefully if I do, I can include some gameplay footage. I mean, you won't be seeing this. I'm not going to post anything if I don't play the game tonight. So if I'm if you're seeing this, there will soon be some gameplay footage and I'm just going to include my thought on Power World over the top of that and then just include kind of everything from here for the rest of just the weekend, really. So it's just going to be Saturday. So a bit of a fail of a vlog this week, but I don't want to put something out that I'm not happy with. And I just think all of the little clips that I've filmed, like I say, they're just not coherent and they don't flow very well and they just don't work as a gaming vlog. So I'm just going to include this clip here, a nice big chunk of gameplay footage with some thoughts over the top of it and then some just little clips from the weekend just to kind of round out the end of it. Next week I'm going to be back up to full pace because I've got three days off, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. My game for next week I've still not decided. I'm going to have a think about it over this evening and probably let you know that when I check in tomorrow or Sunday and I'll be able to let you know what that is then. I'm thinking something that I'm really excited about to kind of get me back into gaming because I've not really played anything. So I've like dabbled a little bit with Kirby but I've not done anything else. I've just mostly been reading so yikes. Laura doesn't play games. I should rename the channel. Anyway, I'm going to skip off now because I'm back in the office again today and then I will hopefully have some gameplay footage for you here that I can let you know my thoughts on Power World, my immediate thoughts I suppose, first impressions, it's only going to be that at this point but I'll let you know what I think and I'll speak to you again soon. Okay so the elephant in the room is that I really didn't like this game. Is it the kind of game I would usually play? No. Did I really give it a fair shot? No. Will I go back and try it again? Absolutely not. I chose this game for my game this week because so many people were playing it and loving it. 
and I just had absolute FOMO basically but to be honest I should have known better because it didn't look like the kind of thing I would usually pick up the whole Pokemon ripoff aspect of it kind of tricked me into thinking it might be something that I'd like because I do really like Pokemon games but this is absolutely not a Pokemon game I honestly felt like it just completely dropped me into the middle of nowhere with no idea what I was doing and I just felt like I was on the back foot the whole time that I was playing. It kind of like gave me one Pokeball at one point and, um, but they're not Pokeballs, they're called something else, I can't remember what they're called, but I threw that by accident and then I couldn't find it and then all of the materials that I needed to be able to make any more of them I just couldn't find any point like eventually I saw the minuscule text at the top right hand corner that explained how to make a workbench and was kind of guiding me through what I was supposed to be doing but by the time I made that workbench I'd already kind of run out of day and I didn't have the materials to make any more of the little pokeballs or whatever called um then my character got cold and hungry I managed to get it warm by making like a little torch that I managed to do from the um, guide but despite having food in my inventory I couldn't figure out how I was supposed to eat it. I did find another human who had a campfire with a roast over it but he was not sharing that either and I died. So look I could have read a guide, I could have tried again but I just know that this isn't my kind of thing and I think I'll just have to be satisfied watching other people play this one. I don't think this is a bad game at all but it's just really not my cup of tea. I do know that I was supposed to beat the pals up a bit and collect them in my balls but I didn't even manage to catch one. I think I'll have to chalk this up to I don't get the hype but I'm so glad that I gave it a try. I'm also super grateful that it was on Xbox Game Pass because I got to have a little play around with it without parting with any of my cash. <laughs> okay, so it's now Sunday. I have just finished editing the vlog. Uh, obviously not a very great one this week in terms of real content of me doing anything, but hopefully the initial impressions for Power World will kind of help make up for it somewhat. I just wanna say a couple of things, obviously watching back me playing the game that obviously it's a survival game and they aren't my kind of thing. I know that the writing being up in that top right hand corner is very obvious and I don't know why it took me so long to notice it but it was so small and yeah I should have put my glasses on but I just couldn't read it. It was on the TV and the writing was like oh my god it was just tiny. I was really squinting to try and see what the hell I was supposed to be doing so didn't enjoy that. Oh one other thing is although I sort of mentioned that I was interested in playing it because of the comparisons that are made to Pokemon. Obviously it's not marketed as a Pokemon game in any way shape or form and I don't want anyone to think that I thought it was because I didn't. I just, it was just the hype. A lot of people, have, you know, compared it because of the, the characters being the same and what have you. But anyway, I am not feeling too clever today. I've just finished editing the vlog or what there is of it. But I went out last night and had some really lovely cocktails with my friend. We didn't obviously go crazy or anything, but I had some really, really nice cocktails. I got good um, clips of all of them. So I'll just include that here as well. But... I've been having to think about what game I want to play for next week and like I said on Friday morning I really want to play something that's going to get me hyped for gaming again because obviously Power World has kind of put me off and I kind of set myself up for failure this week and then failed so objective achieved I suppose. I'm thinking AI The Somnium Files 2 or Danganronpa 3 because both of those are games I absolutely loved the first one or two that I played and although they're quite long I do feel like they'd give me something to really get my teeth into and I have got quite a bit of time off next week so yeah I think yeah do you know what wait there I'm going to absolutely go for it and choose AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative which is a game that I picked up very very shortly after release if not on release can't remember now and I've been dying to play it ever since. So that is going to be my game for next week. It's quite a long one. I think it's probably around the 30 hour mark. So whether I get it finished or not, I don't know. But I am literally going to open that right now and start playing. Well, I'm going to finish editing the vlog. Then I'm going to rip it open and start playing it immediately. So I will see you next week with another vlog. Bye.